Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey everyone, Mephone here, as we are currently ready to bring the back of the game to rematch it before the end of the first round of the playoffs. But there's still more games to head underway with the last game in game four before switching off in game five. There might be some options here if there's a chance in between the uh, teams that could definitely try things again. But there might be one player and one team that has ruled for the New Balance player of the game. So, Mavericks and the Jazz are ready for everything. Now let's catch you down on to Utah at the Vincent Smart Home Arena to start the presentation. And Ryan Anderson is standing by. Ryan, it's all yours. Let's start the game. For sure. David, thanks. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Doncic out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then there's Reggie Bullock. And it's Finney Smith in at the four spot. And for the Jazz, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. O'Neal is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And as the regular season winds toward the playoffs, break for those teams in the upper half of the standings, how much are they looking at the scene and their possible opponents? Well, I don't think most would admit it, but it is human nature to think that of coach is just a kid. about that well, let's get the game started. And looking at how it breaks down in the bracket. Here's Doncic. And some very good moments from on that possession. Doncic has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the man. Mitchell outside. Nice ball movement by Utah. Conley finds Mitchell. Driving to the basket. It's rebounded by Brunson. Oh, dear. Many years, and the young fella 
showing he might have what it takes to improve on his old man. And that's coming from you, who knows a little something about father-son point guard duos. Do you want to call? will have a chance to do the same, young sir. Ouch. Now, Kyle, a terrific option in the pick and roll, knows to slash and finish. Mitchell finds Gobert. Left of the wing, and the top of the key, Mitchell. Outside Conley. And he's off on his first shot of the game. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration. Right, he's all up. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Conley. In the game with Dallas, he did not play well. It's tipped. Beautiful defense from Powell. Uses Where did he go there? Come away with that rejection. Now, Brunson. Boy, he was something else against Utah. And he makes good on the lane. Get him, Brunson. Nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. It's all trailing here. And here is Conley. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. That is the pass to Mitchell. That's in there. Donna Mitchell three. Well the defense so concerned about the triple drive ability of Donovan Mitchell, but boy you better contest as well. Benny Smith passes to Pop. Gobert against Brunson. Offensive rebound. And it's sent back by Mitchell. Well, Donovan Mitchell twice on the pipes. The rejection is nice. One twelve left here in the first half. Donovan game. Mitchell for three. Average trail by four. I'm all going. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. This last game was also been realizing that this is the only matchup that has turned out to be one of the best. In between the first seed, it was very hard to consider themselves. They tried very hard to try to win against the Clippers, but what happened here? They lost it already here in real life. And that was happened here, and it was the astonishing upset in the number one seed. So now the Jazz has decreased into number fifth seed to bring things right in the game. For this lineup, it all happens here so far. I don't know what to say about that, but that's but that's what happens for here before. Now back to Kevin Harlan. And Mavericks will go for a different look here. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Thomas Bertans comes in for Dorian Finney Smith. Brown, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And then Luka Doncic for a three. It doesn't seem to matter where Luka Doncic is on the floor. His shooting ability is impressive. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Pascal. Oh. And Pascal. Let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Dinwiddie outside. Here we go. And it is Spencer Dinwiddie's jam. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. She is seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. Versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Utah with the ball. Following the score by Dallas. Hassan Whiteside. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leaving all 
always trying to create for others. Now, here's Dacic. Five points in the game. Dinwiddie outside. Spencer Dinwiddie for three. Dinwiddie's got a second. Luka Doncic for the assist. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on this point. He'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. At the end of the day, I'm here to play basketball and be the best teammate and best player that I can be. I'm not trying to make this about me. This is team basketball. Like at the end of the day, we're, we're doing good things. We just got to keep it up. Mitchell is well liked. He has a humility about him, Greg despite his all-star status. Hasn't let the endorsements or signature shoe deal go to his head. This guy sees the bigger picture. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Well, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. On the court for the Mavericks. We've got Thomas for Tom. Final board, Tom. He's out there with Max for three. Donchich out there with Max. Luka when he assists. Dinwiddie in at the point guard. And, and you know you're special when you're drafted third. And people still can't believe you slipped that far. Three feet. Alexander Walker. Man in his young career. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, we've established great inside position. Here's Donchich. Following the bucket by the Jazz. Good work defensively by Pikesa. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And Greg, at the time of the 2018 draft, Luka Doncic was regarded as the best international prospect ever. And that sounds right because, you know, coming from Europe, a lot of people assume that he's got a low ceiling, but he's surpassing all those expectations. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. He's reporting from the side. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Luka Doncic for three. Year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. A song right side. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Inside, here's Kleba, and it's right side with the rebound. For Utah, they've gone to a four shooting the ball here in the second. And Alexander Walker passes the basketball. It's good. Eric Crashaw. He's got it all tied up now for the Jams. Defense. 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 Timeout, Ellis. And the Mavericks call time here. They only turns out to be just like they did be before, but now this is a great matchup to get things right on the humble beginning of the playoff position to start things up. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it is. Maybe because of what happens. This is a lot of work, but they have already been played out here before. And nothing happened here in, in each current season that they have definitely played. Well, it's all that happens because what they did here before, it was all that, that gave him a tough ability to make more what they have here at playing in the out of range. In defensive to offense, right from the Stratus. I can definitely say that it looks like Rudy Gobert is the only defensive player of the game of the year, of the season. He could be going again. Well, it's going to be in between Bam Adebayo and Rudy Gobert because I can't figure out what else we got here. So, we'll have to figure it out. Alright, so let's take it back to you guys. Wow, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Corey and Finney Smith comes in for Bertinus. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Brown. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Doncic. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie. For him in the win against Utah. And Brady Gowolin. It's going to make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. And that one 
Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got 10 points in the game. There is a level of physicality that the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish the contact. Here's Brunson. Jalen Brunson. He's in the one hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Two left in the first half. Gobert finds Mitchell. It doesn't go for him. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Thompson with it. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Dinwiddie outside. Just five to shoot. Bullock with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. The shot's good. Reggie Bullet. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. This guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Boom, boom, McDonough. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Mike Conley would do six. Now here's Dinwiddie. Seven points in the game. And the foul called on William Bogdanovich. Josh Bach, I'm all out with the with the block. It's first first goal. First team's foul. Just there a little late. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Defense. Defense. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. A floater. That one goes in for him, too. Making it easy. It's now four for four. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Jazz. Four-point game. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, I mean, on the road, tough environment. They were right there. Oh, oh yeah, Mitchell! Penny Smith. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of the game. Passes it to Brunson. Find the shoot. Into the lane. The basket is good. Jalen Brunson. And his third mate. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Here's Mitchell. Over Brunson. Let's go there. Three! Go there! You know that old expression, you can't take sides, but go there showing great effort. That is the end of the first half. Utah, 30. And that's it for the first half. And Dallas, 32. Mavericks lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. All right, Shaq and Kenny the Jet Smith are going to take a quick closer look in between the half times of the show, the first half, Jazz and Mavericks. So guys, let's have your take. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even, and they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than getting the stars to play. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And Shaq, how do you think the Jazz were playing? Their defense has been dismal, allowing their opponent to shoot in the 60s. I'm sure they're getting the airflow over the locker room. Amazing if they've been able to keep it close. Boy. Thank you, guys. Let's head you back down to Vivint Arena to start the third quarter. Guys? And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half on a game that's been fairly even so far. 
It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. He just loved the patience that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've got a moment that's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. And so in the game for the Jazz. Mike Conley. Who leads the two guard. Lakanovich out there with Rudy really Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the three. And the floor. Doncic, no good. The Jazz shooting a scorching 68% in the game. Here's Mitchell, and no good, had a chance to take the lead there. Dallas has gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. And they call him Spider because of that long lead. Luka Doncic. But standing 6-1, Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with Dick. Yeah, it's time now for the end. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. Watch film on every piece of the Defense travels. Offense comes down. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied. I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. And we know what Mitchell can do offensively. But, Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? And you have a question. There's a lot of He's probably below average, but he has the tools. Who's first? That if he tightens up that Who's first? Look out. To the wing on the left for three. Bullet. They grab their own miss. Here's Finney Smith. Good. And here's his Sorry, Finney Smith. Finney Smith. For three. Chich has got four assists now tonight. The assist totals have it just continued to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. To the boot, Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Six points for Rudy Gobert. Sixty five like Godly. And that in and of itself means oh, I'm out Dallas. this guy really understanding how to play through contact. Dallas calls timeout. And joining here for the next game, if you're all tuning in for game five, we got the many crazy matchups in between the outlooks of the range. We've only seen the Memphis Grizzlies and the Denver Wolves that have gone right back to back. 3-1 is the series for Memphis, and we will be seeing the mind to keep, in, to keep the eyes on the play of this game. Then the next game we have is Brooklyn and Miami back at the FTX Arena here in Miami from the from the south the east of Florida. Then of course we definitely have showing you up that this was like the toughest game we have. Sixers and the Bulls back in Philadelphia. There might be something average out there, but we might be figuring out what will happen here if there's a choice average. So let's get back into this game as we might have more to get things in the way. Looking for a winning team, guys. Whiteside's checked in for Gobert. Eric Pascal comes in for Royce O'Neal. And Nikhil Alexander Walker in for Mike Conley. Then for the Mavericks, Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Alvis Bertans comes in for Dorian Finney Smith. And it's Brown in for Reggie Bolton. Yeah, Good. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Mitchell against Bertrand. This shot by Mitchell, no good. Dallas leading by seven. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Brunson finds Kleba. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And he gets it back. And transition. Here come the Jazz. Looking around. Pyramids remaining in the third quarter. Pyramids. Shoots from 14. Hey, push goal. He's got six points. You know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Round against Bogdanovich. 
on inside. Nothing out on the scoreboard for him. Misses from close range. Here's Whiteside. And a good Hassan Whiteside. And now just a three-point Dallas lead. And the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. Around the pass to Bertrand. From outside the arc. And it's Brown missing. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Utah. And it's rebounded by Dallas. Defense. And there's the feet to Brown. And Brown throws it down low. Willard Brown. The is kind of stepping aside and letting it over to Duncan. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Right side, inside. And he might not just. Donovan Mitchell, three! Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. The pass to Brown. To the middle. Here's Kleba. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Over in the corner, Haskell. Good. And Haskell, three! Got five points. Assisted by Donovan Mitchell. This is what great point guards do. Donovan Mitchell demonstrating just how skilled he is at connecting with the last year in the first quarter. Jazz 44, Dallas 43. Utah out in front, ending the third quarter in a 12 to 4 run. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Now, what it's the fourth quarter. Let's make some noise. More pressure pack basketball. On the floor for Dallas, starting the fourth quarter here. They got fouls. Reggie Bullock is out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Dinwiddie. Good in the one fucking foul. He the game. picks up the foul. With the first person to hold. He's foul on Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the deep. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Six on the shot clock. Near the three-point line, it's Bullock. Where are you going? Through it goes. And the Mavericks lead by one. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Hey, guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Dallas has gone five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. The dish to Doncic. Over O'Neal. And it's Doncic missing. Utah has gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Here's Connolly. That one, no good. Dinwiddie with some nice deep. Feeds to Bullock. That one falls. Very Bullock. Dinwiddie's feet. This is right. This is from Dinwiddie. Short ones with the game right now in the balance. High post, go bear. How long? Puts it drop and Mike the Conley. He's got to just one point on the basket from Mike Conley. Well, this guy could have powered on the interior, but goes to the floater game. This is one of his specialties. Then when he is on the floor, he with the block. Can't 
minute to go. Conley against Dunchich. A floater. He takes it. Look up the dark And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Conley against Dinwin. Conley wishes to go there. Kicks it out to Gay. Nice ball movement by Utah. Conley's shot is off. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Pop. Back to Dinwiddie. Doncic against Cup. Broadside side off the mark. Jazz trailed by three. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And this is a dual meal. Here's the floor. Royce O'Neill. My crown is this. Time out, Dallas. Two minutes for me in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. A lot of changing out there. Once again, we got some uh, coming up games that will be happening here as we will have Miami Heat and Brooklyn Nets in game five. Then the Bulls face up against the 76ers at Philadelphia. Then across the lane, we have his Memphis Grizzlies and the Minnesota Timberwolves happening back here at Memphis. And if there's a game as game necessary for Jazz and Mavericks, it will be happening here for the last game on the other hand. So we will have to see what happens here if there's a chance for, for the other team to take it from here on the other hand. So that will do for me. I'll be closing things off here. We will finish these games and I'll be, I'll be back here to commentate the uh, teams with my commentators. Guys, back to you for, these, for the New Balance Player of the Game. He's up over 50% from the field here tonight. That, that speaks to how solid his shot selection has been. Nothing forced and really no bad decisions. Just good, smart, offensive basketball. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason, keep going over the plan of his team for the last few minutes. He said, I love how we're shooting. Defense! Defense! Just Hello! Thanks so much, Dave. 151 left in the game. Pass to Brunson. Team Woody hops off. A shot missing. A chance going the other way with it. The try by Mitchell. Donnie Mitchell! Mike Conley with the assist. Dinwiddie against Conley. Conley trying to free himself up. Spencer Dinwiddie. We, we can expect a dramatic end of this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to get any run. Let's go, guys. Mitchell. Raise it up. Off the left rim and up. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Dallas Mavericks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Passes at the ball. There's the pass to Brunson. Over by Donovich. O'Neal with the rebound. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Conley for three. Pull it in. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Here's Dinwiddie. Yes! Spencer Dinwiddie. On that shot. What a bucket. I know, guys. Does make a good job, young fella. What a game. Utah calls timeout. 
They're trailing by three. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And it's do or die time. They need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. Hey there folks here, just uh, after, the, after the regular game of this one, there will be some uh, three star players in the game to get started right into the game. So make sure you keep your eyes there tuned as there might be some other players that can be going up here for amazing plays. So after this game is over, we will present the three star players of the game and close the video off here. And there will be a chance if there's a win in between Utah or Dallas. So guys, this kid's definitely going to be very hard to try to answer it back. So it looks like we got a lot of situation here to get back in the lane. So, without being said, back to you, Kevin. see now that is the bear up there as you might have already been seeing things going on it might be ready to spruce things up here with the layup and all that happens here there could be a chance and there's a chance in between and utah is like spreading things quickly the nba playoffs of two base sports is brought to you by your your safe your your local kia dealers the official vehicle of the nba State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to an agent today at 1 800 State Farm. And by your ATT 5G. This is a tough takeable amendment, but if they score again, it will be the last time out for the Jazz. Kevin, guys, back to you. Royce O'Neal, his first personal is third team foul. And that's an intentional foul. Third foul, Mike Conley, number 11. His first fourth team foul. Shooting for a man number 26, Spencer Dinwiddie, taking two shots. quickly because if they don't, well, it's going to be happening here with Dallas, and they haven't scored anything yet. They only got three wins for the Utah Jazz that they have already been playing here at the away games, and now they're now they're playing here at home, so they got to make it fast, or else they will be denied right from each team to get right by it. So, let's see how well they do, if Jazz makes a three or not. It's going to be very hard here, guys. It's on the Nine seconds left in the fourth. O'Neal from long range. Can't get the three to fall. 
And a bit of a battle hit for the ball. The jump ball. ball. Say jump ball here. of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Spencer, did you have a sense coming in that you needed to be more aggressive tonight? Oh, no, it was just kind of like the way they were playing and just wanted to be aggressive, wanted to hopefully make the best play for the team and, you know, was fortunate to hit some shots tonight. That's really it. All right, man. I know you want to be humble, but you played a big part tonight. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Oh, my. That is concluding for this game. It's 55-52. What a sustainable run here that the Mavericks have already beaten against the Jazz here in game number four. All three games are like beating the year for, for the Mavericks, but they only have one that they brought here on the board. Now, let's present the three star players of the game, starting off with number three. We have this Donovan Mitchell. 19 points, 1 rebounds, 1 assist, and a block that he's played here before in the first period, uh, first half of the period, that he has brought him back in there. 3 dunks and 22 performances, that does work out for him the best. That was a lot of uh, work out there, and he's doing really uh, hard in the inbound. Number 2 we have is Luka Doncic, the ultimate New Balance player of the game. He only has one, negative one, but not for, not for his performance, 25 performances that he had done. Only 12 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, looking very good and comfortable at that point. We're glad to hear that. And for number one is Spencer Dinwiddie he has brought it up with a tense matchup. Only that plays here with 15 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 dunks. So that's it for the game of game number four. We will stick around here in game five, as this one will be the next one to come back. Plus, we have is the Miami Heat and Brooklyn Nets here. They're playing back at the FDX Arena in, in Miami, Florida. Then, of course, we have is the Sixers and the Bulls that bring the rematch in together to try to, like, go from whatever angle at the same time. And then we have is the Memphis Grizzlies and the Minnesota Timberwolves here and playing back at Memphis. It's going to be a very tart showdown. It's only the final four teams that are still playing in the first round. The other team winnings, we have the results. It was the Suns, then it was the Boston Celtics, and then across from here, it can be very true, but the Warriors have destroyed the Denver Nuggets. So it looks like they're still waiting for someone to make the uh, win. And we'll be right back with you for the next game of the coverage of this matchup. So thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone, for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night in Utah of Jazz and the Dallas. Did you know